everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Everyone's finished! Quickly! Yes, Mom. Good morning, all. I'm still so sleepy. What? After a good night's rest, you're still sleepy? This is bad. Are you ill or something? No, Grandpa. I'm all right. It's morning. I'm always like this. I was so worried. Why don't you worry about yourself before worrying about other people? Tea should help. Maruko. What's this? Ah! This tea is stale. This is nasty. Where are you, Mom? What's wrong? The tea tastes watery. Is that right? But I just put the tea leaves in the pot. Well, that's not good enough. Can you give me some fresh tea, please? Wow, fussy. Even coarse tea tastes good when fresh. You're full of this useless knowledge, you know. Wait, it's the 88th day since the beginning of spring, right? Hey, Mom, heads up! New tea on the market today! You should get some! Correct, but it's also when it's most expensive. So, we wait for at least a week. What? No way! I can't go on without drinking new tea on its release date. How can you say you're from Shimizu? Easily! I'm proud to say I'm a Shimizu native who doesn't drink new tea. I wonder why you're so fussy about the flavor of tea. No other kids are. Here, fresh tea for you. Well, they should be. Kids deserve good tea, too. What an annoying child. Maruko, you're drinking tea like you've got nothing better to do. You're gonna be late. I'll finish it right now. Just hang on a sec. The flavor of the tea means nothing now. See you, See you later. later. Good morning. Today's the 88th day since spring, which means summer is fast approaching. I had new tea this morning. Anyone else? I had some, sir. I haven't yet. I had some as well. I had a cup, too. You, Marichan? No, I haven't had new tea. She was drinking freshly brewed tea, but it wasn't the new tea. Well, I had the most excellent tea, the same brand served to the Imperial family. So then, what'd you drink, Boo? Later at lunchtime. Huh? We're getting rice instead of bread at lunch. No chopsticks? Huh? That's not good. What'll you do? You seem to be having trouble, Sakura-san. Huh? Moroccan. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Bam! I've got a pair of extra chopsticks here. Thank you. I'm so glad that I voted for you in the last election. Remember this for next time. Can I borrow a pair, too? Sure, here. Remember, you can always count on me when you're in a fix. Oh, right, thanks. I didn't vote for you in the last election, but you still helped me out. <laughs> Frankly, this is my loss. Maruo, I need a pair as well. Huh? You do too? But I'm all out now. Sorry, I can't help you. Well, then, I won't be voting for you again. Oh, he may come across as weak, but he's actually quite the negotiator.
Man, I wish we could have tea with the rice. Milk just doesn't do it. You're right. I mean, nutrition balance is important and all, but still. Yeah, I want to drink some new tea. Yeah. Hey, come over today. We've received lots of new tea packets from our relatives already. Really? Sure, thanks. And my dad says it's good. The best he's had so far. As you see in Shimizu, it's quite common for many houses to get new tea from family and friends. It's also common to hear the words, our tea is the best in many of these houses. I'm home. I'm going to Tama-chan's house later to have some new tea. Are you? That sounds nice. <laughs> By the way, did you get any new tea? I did. Bought it earlier. That's such a small bag. It'll be gone after three brewings. It's expensive now. I'll purchase more when the price goes down. Can I have one cup of tea now, Mom? Sure can. And I think I'll join you. I think I'll have one myself. Uh, oh, Grandpa. How long have you been there? Obviously long enough to overhear us. <laughs> Awesome, thanks. Yes, thank you. Ah, it smells great. <sighs> wow, tasty. I'm in heaven. It's good, but last year's tea tasted so much better. This must be the cheap stuff, huh? Uh -huh. Uh, yes. Last year's tea tasted much better. Sad. So sad. Tasty new tea. It's not as tasty as before, my grandchild claims, by Tomozo, a haiku of the mind. Right, I'm out of here, Mom. Wait a second. Here, it's a gift. Sweets for tea. Mm. Say hello to her mom for me. See you later. Wow, what a clear day it is today. I like the month of May, although I do feel a bit hot wearing long sleeves right now. Hello there. Chan's mom gave you sweets. Oh, thank you very much. Now, why don't you wait in the room and I'll bring you some tea? Or how about the porch? Mm, sounds good. Let's create an atmosphere, too. We should water the garden as well. Wow, it's sparkling and pretty. <laughs> All done. Uh, we've done a great job here. All right, here you go, girls. Tea and sweets for you. Thanks. Wow, that's so tasty. You're right, it's so elegant. I feel like we should compose a haiku. Yeah, let's do that. First thing, a paper and a pencil. Could we use the back of a brochure? Sure, why not? Whenever you're ready. Let's see. What should I write about? Mm. Ah! I drink new tea and eat some sweets along with it. It's tasty. That's a pretty simple haiku. May, the greens. They look much greener than the tea. How's that sound? It sounds like a haiku about a green May. Another brilliant one. <laughs> I've got a good one. Deeper into spring, what comes after the early summer, the summer. Nothing new there. I've got one more. The new tea. It's not called kato cha. It's called shin cha. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> The tea we had at Tama-chan's house was so good. That good, huh? You must be happy. We composed haikus. I'll read them to you later. Wow, how sophisticated. <laughs> Maruko, dinner time. Coming. Say, we get some new tea from our relatives every year, don't we? Did we get any this year? Well, my brother did tell me he would send me some this year. It'll be here soon. You should give him a call. Uh, call him to remind him of his promise? No chance. Uh... Okay, I'll make the call then. You meet a Chiro, right? Grandpa! You're spoiling Maruka rotten, Dad. Oh, hello, Ichiro. It's Dad. I thought I'd call you to thank you in advance for the new tea. See you. 
That was a short conversation, Grandpa. Yes, we'll be getting the tea as usual. Yay! Oh, one more. My dad's brother is coming over to the house with new tea. Wow, what a lovely haiku that is. I'm going to go tell Mom that we're getting the new tea soon. Mm. Hey, Mom, Grandpa called Uncle. We'll get it soon. Oh, that's good to hear. They always give us tasty new tea, don't they? I'm so thrilled. It'll be like a new tea heaven here on Earth. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Hey, babies. Hot today, isn't it? Hey there, Hanawa-kun. Short sleeves already, huh? That's early. The marine look is good on you, though. Check out what I've got on, guys. I'm wearing a woolen sweater today. <laughs> Frankly speaking, I'm soaking. You are. You look like you're melting away. Maybe take it off? <laughs> it really is quite hot today, right? I shouldn't have worn these pants. Yeah, not the best idea. I'm home. Uh, it's so hot. Can I get some orange juice, Mom? Did you hear me? I... Uh... Hi, Maruko. Uncle Ichiro is here to visit. Hi, Uncle. Hello, Maru-chan. You've grown so much. And here. Look at how much tea your Uncle Ichiro has brought for you this time. I'll go make some tea for us now. My... Uncle, thank you so much. Sure. Now you can have some new tea every day. Aren't you happy, Maruko? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, it's hot. I need some cold juice. Forget the juice. Have some new tea instead. No, thanks. I'd much rather prefer to have some ice-cold juice. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> wow. You're weird. How can you drink hot tea in this weather? Why not? I enjoy having hot tea. Mm, it's your call. The new tea heaven. The heaven you chose for yourself, right, Maruko? She convinces herself and continues to drink the tea her uncle brought for her throughout the summer. As soon as May kicks off, it is the teachers' jobs to visit their students' homes to report on how they're doing at school. It's a troublesome event for all involved. This is known as a home visit. I really don't like the whole home visit thing. I agree. There's really no need for the teachers to visit our homes just so they can inform on us to our parents. It's the same. Every year a teacher leaves, I get lectured by Mom on how I'm not doing good at school. It makes me blue. Yeah... Obviously, Maruko hasn't realized that she's gonna end up getting the same lecture this year, too. I am home! Huh? Oh, boy. I've never seen the house so sparkling clean. Uh, it's a dead giveaway. The home visit is happening. Whoa! Brand new tatami mats! Why did you change them? The tatami mats were changed by them because someone is visiting the house. It's a grand gesture on the family's part to make a fuss over an ordinary person. Uh, uh, no way! You're changing the sheets on the screen doors? Of course! How much effort she's putting into this? It could be described as a non-seasonal New Year's Eve cleanup. The teacher will be in the house for a maximum of 15 minutes. And yet, Mom is going through all this trouble. It's amazing how much respect a teacher commands. Uh... Maruko, spend a few minutes cleaning up your room. It's extremely filthy. Okay. I'm home! Hey, welcome home, sis. Come on, let's go play. Hey! What did I just ask you to do? Rats. Something interesting about the word rats. As a point of fact, the word isn't used by people too frequently in today's world. Rats. Hey, Mom, is Maruko's teacher coming today? Yes, he is. He'll be here about 30 minutes before your teacher comes. I'm glad they're both coming on the same day. It's easier. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
She wasn't kidding. It's an absolute mess. And on top of that, everything here is mine. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, forget it. I quit. This is a message from God. It's of no use. It'll be impossible to clean up. Maruko changes her negative attitude of being unwilling to a positive attitude of being willing to give up. Also... It's better to leave things the way they are because I want to be honest with my teacher about the way I live my life. So this attitude of defiance is switched to an attitude of honesty, proving that she's trouble. Huh? Maruko, you're so lazy! Instead of cleaning it up, you lay down in this mess? I don't feel like doing anything now. I'm just feeling a little lazy. No doubt she is annoyingly lazy. Why can't you be tidier like your sister? It's embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed by this at all. You're right. What's there to be embarrassed about? Sure, no problems at all. Those food crumbs belong where they are. And hey, look! There's even a pair of used underwear over here. Do you still insist that you're not embarrassed by all this? That's awful. I'll clean up. Fine. Oh, you'll clean it up? Wow, that's new. I'd say you have about 20 minutes before your teacher arrives. Yeah, yeah, okay. Looks like I was able to get Maruko to clean up her mess. Yeah, that's good. Now I can finally show my room to my teacher without being shy. I've been so embarrassed at the very thought, considering how messy Baruko's side is. Uh, I'm done. I can't go on. How in the world did this mess get so enormous? There must be an easier way to do this. Huh? I know. Hey, Grandpa, there's a favor I need to ask you. Of course, Maruko. Do you mind holding on to this stuff for me? Not long, just about 20 minutes or so. I don't want to trouble you. Is that all garbage? This is it. Not very long. I'm counting on you. Thanks. <gasps> oh, what a lot of stuff. Where were you keeping it all before? And now my desk is totally spotless. It looks like it belongs to an honors student. How optimistic of her this is. She actually believes that she's become smarter just because she's cleaned up her desk. Now I want my teacher to show up sooner. I might even get praise for my desk. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, sounds like he's arrived. Hi, Mr. Togawa. Yeah, good afternoon. Won't you come in for a bit? Uh, no. I'm fine right here. Huh? Are you sure? I'm all right standing. It'll only take about 10 minutes. Hey, but teacher, don't you want to see my room? No, fine. Let me begin. Momoko-chan is in charge of living things. There are teachers who get things done quite quickly. They complete the duties of the visit without even stepping foot inside. This makes it easy on the parents. She's optimistic and easygoing. Uh <laughs> See, Mom? You're being told I'm a good child. But she can be careless. She forgets things. Thanks. You can leave now. For some odd reason, I'm disappointed that Mr. Togawa is gone. I'm feeling worn out, too. Huh? Such greed. Maruko has a bad habit of popping into the kitchen numerous times a day. Japanese sweets? These were prepared especially for teacher, but he didn't stick around. <laughs> So they're mine. Bon appetit. Delicious. What's this? Another plate here. <laughs> I get it. Mom prepared another plate so she could sit down with the teacher and talk about me over snacks. <laughs> I think that's unfair. So, these are mine to eat, too. Oh, those were sweet. Uh, Mom should have put out some salty things like potato chips or soy sauce rice crackers to go along with all the sweets. <sighs> Shizuoka tea is amazing, the best. At this point, Maruku's clueless. She has absolutely no idea she's made a terrible mistake and she's about to face the consequences. Oh, 
That's right. I should get my stuff from Grandpa's room. Hey, Grandpa. Huh? Thank you so much for holding on to my stuff. So, it's all done then. Yep. My teacher came and left. I didn't need to show him my room. Thanks again for your help. Of course. Always ready to help if I can. Ugh. It'll be messy again now. Too bad I have to destroy that desk. It made me look so smart. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. Good huh? afternoon. What? Who's it's that? So nice of you to I come didn't by. know we were expecting Please, anyone else. Teacher, my sister and I share this room. No, teacher, it's not me. Uh, this desk over here is mine. You see how clean it is? All this garbage belongs to my sister. She is the messy one here. Teacher, 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 please. Big teacher. sister is panicking right now. Calm down, Sakura-san. I understand. <laughs> this really isn't me, I promise you. It was... <gasps> I can't believe you! Take a seat. Would you like some hot tea? Uh... <laughs> Maruko felt as if her lifespan had been shortened by three whole years thanks to this surprise. What was all that about, huh? And now the situation she encounters will change that to ten years. Well, that doesn't make sense. I know I left sweets here for Sakiko's teacher. Eh? No, it can't be. The second plate of sweets were for sister's teacher. I'm so dead. Maruko, what happened to those sweets, huh? In truth, Maruko knows exactly where those sweets are. Uh, no idea. That's the only answer she can give. Maruko feigns ignorance. Okay, I just thought I'd ask. Unlikely, that doesn't happen. No one in society is that naive. <laughs> and that's how Maruko ends up receiving the same lecture she gets every year. 